And we are back, everyone. Welcome to Half-Life 2, our annual uh, tradition starting now. For me, it's been like four or five years of doing this, but for you two, hopefully this is just the first of many. Someone's coming. You there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! Don't step on the sand! It makes the ant lions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! No. Help! Stupid Laszlo. Dear God! Poor Laszlo! The finest mind of his generation! To come to such an end! We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. Probably gonna... Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had. Probably gonna try and bury him or something. Just mourn. Remember to stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Anyways, this is the actual sand traps portion of the chapter known as sand traps. Where we can't get on the sand. So the entire floor is lava, basically. Also, I'm pretty sure the moment we leave, that guy is dead. Like, I don't know for sure. Okay, he's still there now, but yeah. Because once again, only three men survives. You get an achievement, by the way, if you can manage to do this entire bit without touching the sand. I think I got it on my first try. First part of the game, maybe second. But, uh, yeah, it's fairly simple to get. You just kind of need to juggle things like these pallets and, uh, you know, metal bits there. Boxes, whatever you can, whatever junk you can find, really, and just kind of juggle them around onto the sand and essentially just pray that you land on them and don't slide off like I almost did there. If you can do it, then congratulations, you've managed to avoid screwing off some very aggressive and angry bugs. If you can't, they die in like one hit to a shotgun anyways, so their only real threat is their numbers. And uh, the bigger guys that we'll encounter soon enough. I don't know if it's a lambda, but I know there are supplies further than this way, this way so I'm going to check that out. If, you, if we could, one possible way to avoid, um, to avoid the whole incident is just tie some wooden planks to your, to your feet, basically. I'm amazed that, like, doing that doesn't bother the ant lions at all. Uh, we should probably get rid of that guy. Do we have anything there? Let's try this. There we go. Oh dang. Well, I failed that achievement. Anyways, it's it's an interesting experience again. If you don't go this way, you might have better luck. But now, health and ammo. Always help. Seriously, you stand like one pixel onto the sand and the bugs are all over you. A little bit annoying, but you know, that's part of the game. That's just how you get by. And as you can see, there are places like this where you basically need to bring stuff with you. Oh, careful, careful. I thought it was, I thought I stepped on it there. You'll know when you step on it, because it'll be like this little earthquake thing. Oh, come on, just there we go. Earthquake thing, and then a bug will pop out. Uh, this is not so much a seesaw as it is a tight rope, tight rope walking situation. This one, however, is a seesaw. You gotta move this box off of it. Put it here. Maybe reinforce it with a couple of cinder blocks or that barrel or something. Whatever you can find. I know. Maybe the box on its own will just work. Yeah, a box on its own works. 
so maybe not. Well, fuck. Okay, screw it. Screw it all. La da 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 da. Running on the sand, running on the sand, disrupting the antlions, pissing them off. Screw you, antlions. I don't care. Wow, that was, that was not even the one I was aiming for. See, like I said, I'm not even like right clicking, I'm left clicking, and they died they died of one hit from a shotgun. They're not the brightest bugs in the world, and they're certainly not the strongest. Get some more supplies here. Uh a few more here. Nothing amazing though. I don't think you really get any more like uh guns or anything from here. There is that. Over here. Let's just kinda of try to walk past this area while pulling can we pull that box towards us? Maybe yes. Yes, there we go. And if there was something there, I either picked it up or lost it. Yeah, screw that one. Oh. Oh wow. I actually didn't spawn in the antlines that time. Huh, weird. Not entirely sure where we're going. Uh, that won't be good enough. Forget that one. That was a good one. Come on. Ah, there we go. Perfect. This is a long trek to take, admittedly. Yeah, fuck it. I already got the achievement. I don't need to worry. I should probably still make a run for it, though. I don't think there's any lambdas on that. I sent my supplies on the boat, but I don't think it's a lambda thing. But dang. I'm gonna head for this. This garage here. This house, barn, thing. Fishing hut. A little a few supplies. I have a choke point for the bugs. There we go. There uh, should be one more for the route. There we go. And uh, from here, it's pretty simple. Jump, skip, skip rather. To the next place. You can power up the thumper that you saw over there in the distance. Keep the bugs off of you. Pretty much, pretty much do want that. Because, uh, essentially, essentially what they do is they make so much noise that the, uh, bugs don't respond to your footsteps when you're near it. What they do, they don't want to get too close, because, uh, thumper. Yeah, sorry if you wanted to see me not bother the antlions for that whole thing, but uh, yeah, I decided to screw it, basically. And as you can see, this is a large arena type deal with supplies and bodies and rubble everywhere, because we have to fight an antlion guardian, a large, mean motherfucker. Who does not like you being here. But can be pretty easily stunned with the right click in the face from a shotgun. Or a uh, shot from an explosive barrel from the gravity gun. Okay, maybe not every shot in the face with a shotgun, but sometimes you can. I don't even try to kill all like that. That call he just did was to summon more antlions. The looks of things, and uh, as you can probably tell from size, shape, and use of his head, you do not want him running into you like that. If you run by this guy, you get some help, so that's handy. Perfect. And now I meet some new friends. The three men must follow.
The free men will do wise to heed our extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic pteropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore, stand aside. Mm -hmm. So this is introduction, the introduction of a new mechanic. The free men will you, have uh, of these kind of on the path to head. Gather them now. Get this thing. This thing. Yeah. And you have like an unlimited supply of them, apparently. Anyways. Kind of like a little campsite for rebels. Tucked in between these two cliffs. And you can get a Vortigaunt's talk in their own native language. The free man must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose portal inputs are in bad. Yes, we are vocalizing your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. That's so nice. Wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. And then they go right back to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And talking, saying unsatisfying things about either Gordon or humans or, yeah. I don't think they should really worry about speaking English around humans, because, you know. Eh? Ah, dang it, I thought I said myself, do not disturb, hang on. Hang on. Terribly sorry about that, I hope I can stitch that together well enough. I forgot to set my Skype to Do Not Disturb. It's alright now. I should probably shouldn't have cut that recording actually and just like gone through it and cut it out. Ugh, that's gonna be a pain actually. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Mandatory tutorials that you can't avoid. Yep. 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 Am I driving you guys crazy yet? There's three of our own pet bugs now. Now, a dead one. Apply pressure to your third one. I've been doing that. Mm -hmm. 